Hi, so if I, I've created this uh, Microsoft Load Balancer on Azure and you'll notice there's three VMs on it and I've assigned and I've created a web application on those three VMs and I'm going to log in via this web application and show you that it is not using sticky sessions and how to actually assign sticky sessions uh, via the Load Balancer configuration. So you'll notice I logged in via the Firestorm server. So in the bottom here, I identify what server this application web page is being served up. And you'll notice here under Firestorm, the session exists under the Firestorm server. So I am going to keep on hitting refresh. You'll see this indicates that there is a session here because it has my email address. Now I'm gonna keep on hitting refresh and you'll see this page now comes from Iron Man and the session is lost because it's not on the Firestorm server. And now it's back because it is from the Firestorm server. So the load balancer is distributing the traffic via my three different servers. I'm gonna keep on hitting refresh here and you'll see the Silver Surfer server that I have has no session and once again back on Firestorm it does have the session so if I go back here here's my three servers now how, how do I set it up to have sticky sessions so under the load balancer I have the load balancing rules and I'm gonna click on each rule that I have and I'm gonna say do the sticky sessions via the clients IP so what this actually means I'm gonna click save here so what this actually means is upon initial contact, the node balancer will look at the client's IP and if it assigns it to the servers here, so, so if it assigns that IP to a particular server, it will stick to that server when the traffic comes in again uh, subsequently. So you'll notice for Firestorm here, once I initially come in via that IP address through Firestorm, it'll assign the traffic to that server from that point forward. So that is the sticky sessions. Now, uh, I have configured it to go to the sticky sessions. And once I do that, when I click save, it doesn't propagate right away. It takes probably about 10, 15 minutes so don't be alarmed when you change the setting and it doesn't happen right away. And so if I hit refresh here, there's a possibility it still might go to the other servers. It hasn't yet. Uh, so it looks like, see, it, it, it hasn't kicked in yet because it still went to the other servers. But uh, just uh, keep in mind that that actually does take 10-15 minutes but the sticky sessions do in fact work uh, for this uh, Microsoft load balancer under Azure and if you're wondering how that is created uh, this load balancer go to my uh, video on how to create a, the Microsoft load balancer in Azure and uh, hope this helped and thank you for watching